Hello, it's MG here, and today I got something new. Today is a quest anniversary. It's, I guess, f the fourth year, I guess? And I recently encountered this uh, Hunger Games uh, simulator, and I decided to put some quest characters in it, and we'll see who survives. <laughs> we'll see if Rose is still MVP, if not, then who it is. So, uh, speaking of, uh, we've got uh, 12 districts and 24 tributes, and uh, from District 1 we have Rose and Gregor, District 2 we have Dave and Anna, poor Anna, she's here again. From District 3 we have Mark and Brian, from District 4 we have Jade and Mary, from District 5 we have Adelaide and Troy. Troy appeared in a quest Make Your Choice, so that's why he's here. <laughs> From District 6 we have Samuel and Sophia, from District 7 we have Matthew, the guy from Episode 7 who got um, who got lost because of Rose's quest, and Rachel, she's the police officer. From District 8 we have Moira and Simon, they are from After Quest. From District 9 we have Edward and Miranda, Edward was one of the police officers, he got lost in Episode 9. And Miranda is from episode 4. She's the fake Rose's sister, <laughs> if you remember correctly. Uh, from district 10 we have Zaya and Vince. From district 11 we have Martha and Connor. And from district 12 we have Amelia and Jeremy. Okay, so let's go. I'm so curious what is gonna what is going to happen. Oh my god. Okay, let's begin. The bloodbath. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Amelia breaks Mark's nose for a basket of bread? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Poor Mark. Amelia, you're homophobic. Rachel runs away from the cornucopia, if that's how you pronounce it. Samuel and Sophia fight for a bag. Samuel gives up and retreats. Girl power. Girl power, yes. Zaya runs away from the cornucopia. Brian runs away from the cornucopia. Anna clutches a first aid kit and runs away. Simon finds Martha hiding in a cornucopia and kills her? Simon? Not Martha being the first person killed. No way. <laughs> okay, oh, that was unexpected. Already in the bloodbath? <laughs> Jesus, Simon! Okay, next. Connor grabs a jar of fishing bait while Vince gets fishing gear. Troy strangles Jeremy with a rope. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Gregor runs away from the cornucopia. Mari runs away from the cornucopia. Miranda takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Dave runs away from the cornucopia. And so does Adelaide, Rose, Edward, Jade. Matthew and Moira. Oh my god, we got one person already killed. No way. Day one. Mark, Adelaide and Jade hunt for other tributes. Oh my god. <laughs> what an interesting trio. Troy tries to sleep through the entire day. Amelia defeats Zaya in a fight but spares her life. Amelia didn't have mercy for Mark's noise, but she had mercy for Zaya. Samuel and Connor split up to search for resources. Anna camouflages herself in the bushes. Anna, Anna, Anna sneaky sneaky. Sophia steals from Dave while he isn't looking. <laughs> <laughs> Not one police officer stealing from the other one, no way! <laughs> That's so funny. Miranda goes hunting. Matthew discovers a cave. Moira stalks Vince. <laughs> Not Vince being the most wanted criminal in the series, right? And Moira stalks him. Brian and Gregor split up to search for resources. Okay. Edward begs for Mary to kill him. She reluctantly obli obl obliges? I guess. <laughs> if I pronounce it wrong, I'm sorry. She reluctantly obliges, killing Edward. Oh my god. This is so Edward. He wouldn't last 
in the asylum where they raised Mary, Rose camouflages herself in the bushes, so Rose is doing the same what Anna does. And Simon stalks Rachel. Fallen tributes three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Martha from District 11, Jeremy from District 12, and Edward from District 9. Night 1. Matthew sees a fire but stays hidden. Vince is unable to start a fire and sleeps without worm. Moira attempts to start a fire but is unsuccessful. Oh my god, what a group. Mary, Jade, Samuel, Anna and Miranda sleep in shifts. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Rachel cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide? Excuse me? Rachel, why? Rachel just regretted that she took part in this. Mark, Brian and Zaya discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. The gays and Zaya, interesting. <laughs> Dave quietly hums. Troy taints Connor's food, killing him. Troy! Oh my god. He's so hetman. <laughs> He's such a master. <laughs> Amelia stays awake all night. Rose and Gregor run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Adelaide tracks down and kills Simon. Oh my god! <laughs> oh damn. Adelaide? No way. Oh my god, poor Simon. Poor Simon. Oh my, I can't believe it. Oh my god. Okay, Sophia tries to treat her infection. Okay. Day 2. Matthew steals from Brian while he isn't looking. Adelaide receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor, and that's me. That's the director. Dave picks flowers. I guess for Anna, because she's from his district. But maybe for Rose? <laughs> <laughs> Mark tries to spare fish with a trident. Amelia tries to sleep through the entire day. Samuel sprains his ankle while running away from Anna. <laughs> This is justice. Justice for Anna. Samuel sprain his ankle. Uh, and so does Miranda, uh, but when she runs away from Moira. Jade receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. And Rose receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. That's from me, of course. Gregor picks flowers. Oh, these guys. So romantic. Troy is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Oh, poor you. Vince searches for a water source. Sophia searches for firewood. Zaya dies trying to escape the arena. Oh my god. Zaya, what the fuck? <laughs> and Mary goes hunting. No way. Fallen tributes. Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Rachel from District 7, Connor from District 11, Simon from District 8, and Zaya from District 10. Night 2. Mark and Brian hold hands. Oh, My favorite gay characters. Aww. Oh, I just love them. I just I, I want so good for them. And I regret putting them here. Amelia stabs Vince with a tree branch. Listen, the women here are evil. And I love that. <laughs> this is such a rose vibe. Adelaide cooks her food before putting her fire out. Sophia repeat repeatedly stabs Samuel to death with size. Oh. The girls unite here. This is girl power for sure. Sophia killed Samuel. Oh my god. This is so beautiful. Moira climbs a tree to rest. Rose and Matthew tell stories about themselves to each other. Yeah, maybe tell him tell him the story that you shot him in the balls. Dave, Gregor and Jade discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Miranda sees a fire but stays hidden. Mary sets up camp for the night. Troy receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor and Anna thinks about home. Oh, uh, let's say it's an alternate universe, okay? So she's not pregnant. <laughs> Day 3. Troy sets Rose on fire with a Molotov? Wait, so... So Rose is dead? Are you kidding me? From Troy? <laughs> <laughs> Moira, Brian and Anna hunt for other tributes. Mark taints Dave's food, killing him. <sighs> be gay do crime, I guess. Adelaide diverts uh, Miranda's attention and runs away. Mary tracks down and kills Sophia. <laughs> oh, the, these police officers are so weak, <laughs> I guess. Gregor makes a slingshot. Amelia severely slices Jade with a sword. Oh my god. And Matthew makes a wooden spear. Fallen tributes, six cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Oh damn. Vince from District 10, Samuel from District 6, Rose 
from District 1, Dave from District 2 as well, damn it, Sophia from District 6 and Jade from District 4. Night 3. Mary looks at the night sky. Adelaide, Amelia, Troy and Miranda sleep in shifts. Brian sets Moira on fire with a Molotov, no way. Be gay to crime so much. Gregory receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Matthew climbs the tree to rest. Anna goes to sleep. Mark is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. I guess Brian was uh, far away. Day 4. Mark runs away from Amelia. <laughs> No way, like, she's a lethal woman. Miranda receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Oh, no. From me, of course. Matthew tends to Gregor's wounds. Troy tries to spare fish with a trident. Adelaide practices her archery. Brian explodes the arena. Mary injures herself. And Anna discovers a cave. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Moira from District 8. Night 4. Miranda thinks about home. Amelia, Adelaide, Matthew, Brian and Mark sleep in shifts. Gregor receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Troy receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Anna and Mary run into each other and decide to choose for the night. Day 5. Matthew, Adelaide, Troy, Mark and Anna hunt for other tributes. What a group. Miranda camouflages herself in the bushes. Gregor poisons Mary's drink, she drinks it and dies. <laughs> Gregor, everyone thought you're a bad guy and you just proved it. Amelia searches for firewood and Brian searches for a water source. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Mary from District 4. Night 5. Gregor thinks about winning. Gregor. <laughs> Matthew starts a fire. Troy, Amelia, Anna, Mark and Brian sleep in shifts. Miranda climbs the tree to rest. And Adelaide receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. The feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons and memoirs from the tribute's families. Miranda takes a staff leaning against the cornucopia. Matthew tracks down and kills Gregor. <laughs> Amelia, Mark and Anna get in the fight. Amelia triumphantly kills them both. Amelia. Oh, she's lethal. She's lethal as f Oh my god, she killed them both? <laughs> Adelaide gathers as much food into a bag and as she can before fleeing. Brian decides not to go to the feast. Well, <laughs> Brian, you just lost your boyfriend. And Troy falls into a pit and dies. No, no, I... No way! I can't believe it. Troy being the MVP of the season and he just died. Day 6. Amelia, Miranda and Adelaide hunt for other tributes. This is girl power again. Matthew dies from an infection. No way, Matthew. <laughs> Poor you. And Brian receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Okay. Fallen tributes. Five cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Gregor from District 1. Mark from District 3. Anna from District 2. Troy from District 5. And Matthew from District 7. Night 6. Amelia begs for Miranda to kill her. She refuses keeping Amelia alive. Miranda, why? <laughs> Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, Adelaide and Brian talk about the tribute still alive. Oh, interesting. Brian and Adelaide, okay. Day 7. Adelaide, Amelia and Miranda hunt for other tributes. Brian accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. So Brian is dead? No, don't tell me Brian is dead. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Brian from District 3. No. Night 7. Miranda, Adelaide and Amelia cheerfully sing songs together. Wow. <laughs> Let's go. Girl power. Day 8. Amelia attempts to climb a tree but falls on Adelaide killing them both? Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Amelia from District 12 and Adelaide from District 5. And the winner is Miranda from District 9. N no. <laughs> I mean, okay, she was the one person good in this uh, in this game actually <laughs> she didn't kill anyone literally oh my god wow it's so crazy <laughs> it's so crazy miranda won so this is the uh the leaderboard let's say <laughs> i'm so gagged that martha died first and that edward <laughs> i can't believe rose died I guess Hunger Games would be too hard for Rose. <laughs> no way Miranda won. <laughs> Why did... Literally, I can't believe Amelia 
uh, turned out to be so much evil. <laughs> wow, it was really fun. So the Hunger Games lasted eight days. Okay, I guess thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like this a happy fourth anniversary of Quest. I think I'm gonna rewatch it again. It's the special occasion, okay? District 9 won and Amelia had the most kills. So crazy. Okay, let's... Oh, yeah. Thank you. Bye.